day, grade 10s. In this lesson, we will investigate the wave nature of sound. We know that sound comes from a disturbance that causes a vibration which travels through a medium. We also know that a wave is defined as a series of disturbances that travel through a medium. Therefore, we can say that sound is a wave, but which type of wave? Transverse or longitudinal? Let us join Nelly as she reminds us of the properties of both types of sound waves. In a transverse wave, the motion of the particles in the medium is perpendicular to the motion of the disturbance through the medium. In a longitudinal wave, the motion of the particles is parallel or in the same direction as the motion of the disturbance through the medium. So, if we want to find out whether sound is a transverse or longitudinal wave, we have to investigate whether the energy is transported through the medium in a direction perpendicular or parallel to the motion of the particles. Let us join Nelly once more as she reminds us about the sound cannon experiment we saw in lesson one to help us identify which wave type sound is. Do you see that the membrane of the drum is vibrating from left to right? If the source, that is the membrane, is moving from left to right, it follows that the particles will be pushed to move in the same direction from left to right. Now look closely at how the sound wave is disturbing the tags. What does this tell us? The tags are also being pushed back and forth. It would seem that energy is being transported through the air in the same direction as the movement of particles. We can quite clearly see that sound is a longitudinal wave. We also know that sound is a longitudinal wave as it needs a medium to travel through. Let us look at this experiment that Nelly performed using a bell jar. Here, she slowly removes the air from the bell jar with a vacuum pump. Listen carefully to what happens. We can see that when there is no medium, the sound cannot travel. Therefore, it must be a longitudinal wave. We also know that sound can travel through all three phases of matter, solid, liquid and gas. Let us look at an animation of how sound travels through different media. The particles are closer together in a very dense medium, such as a solid. This means that the kinetic energy of the sound vibrations is transferred more quickly from particle to particle in the denser medium. The particles in the gas phase are much further apart. Therefore, the sound vibrations need to travel over a much longer distance before they can transfer the kinetic energy from one particle to the next. We can thus conclude that sound travels faster in a denser medium. So let us summarize. We have now confirmed that sound is a longitudinal wave with all the characteristics of longitudinal waves. We now also know that sound travels faster in a more dense medium. Great tens, you'll find more information about sound at www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Remember to try some of the questions in the task video too. Goodbye.